Well, in kind of talk. So, you just saw my productive morning getting my year together. Basically, a reset of 2022. And later on in this video, I'm going to talk about my recap of 2021, what I'm going to do for 2022, my plans, goals, and a bitch is sitting in my car, but I just want to pop in and say hello, I'm alive, I have not died, <laughs> I have not had anything bad happen, knock on wood, so, also, enjoying the sunlight because it's a nice day out, and so, everyone knows, I like sunlight, therefore I'm taking full advantage of the sunlight in the outdoors, so, I'll talk to y'all in a little bit, and we'll talk about 2021 recap. Hey there, and this is going to be my official update and talk about resetting for the new year and talk about the good things that occurred in 2021 because although the pandemic was still a thing 2021 was an excellent year for me growth wise personally and career wise I took a big leap of faith and started travel nursing. So I did my first travel assignment in 2021. I logged it so you can go watch those videos. But it was in Nashville, Tennessee, which is a whole lot bigger city than what I'm used to. It was such an eye opening and a good learning experience for me not only living on my own living in a brand new city where I didn't really know anybody but also the growth as a nurse because it was a brand new facility a level one trauma center compared to level two and Just the growth from that that I've seen in me today is just astronomical. I know people probably don't want me to leave, but maybe they do. I don't know. Um, but I've determined I either want to do another travel assignment or I just want to travel more in general, whether that be for work, nursing, not for work, but I really, really thrive on my own, and obviously, um, what I can't figure it out unless I was on my own, which I was, and so, that just grew me as a more independent, well-rounded person than I am today. And then, also in 2021, I really honed in on like core friendships. Some of them that I've been friends with for forever, they're still good friends of mine today. Some people that relatively new friends, but in that short period of time, a lot better friends with me than people I've known since I was in elementary school. So, sorry, then, like my core friendship, my core group, yeah, core friend group. Wow. Will I answer? We shall see. And just family time has been a big thing for me. And the pandemic. Thank you. 
little small child. And then, basically the theme of 2022 is going to be consistency. The habits that I picked up from 2021, I will continue into this new year, just being more consistent with it, like my planner and actually like writing out everything I need to get done, planning out my goals, and just mapping everything out and also practicing gratitude which I started it last year I'm making it part of my actual routine this year I got a five minute journal and I've been using that religiously every day since I've gotten it and it's helped me shift my mindset and my perspective to things greater than myself so and also realizing how good I actually have it. Because sometimes you can get into wrecks and not realize you are lucky than what you think you are. And another goal for 2022 is working out more. Not really working out, but getting physically stronger, physically and mentally stronger, physically, mentally, and emotionally stronger. <laughs> Can I tackle anything else? I don't know. We'll see. But a big goal is being able to do a pull up because I feel like if you can do a pull up, then that means you're strong because it incorporates every muscle in your body to be able to do a pull up. So being able to do a pull up is a big goal of mine for this year. Like an additional new pull up with each month, so like one in January, two in February, three in March, etc. And then the mentally and emotionally stronger, holding in on my emotions more, not reacting to things that aren't important, which I do that anyway, but just having a more clear mindset and perspective about everything. It's not everything's about me. So. And traveling. And I feel like the traveling is going to help with the perspective part. Like I said, I picked up all these habits last year. This so this year is going to be consistently utilizing these habits. And another goal I have for 2022 is to officially move out either into a house or an apartment on my own trying to decide where that's going to be but that's a that's a goal not just like moving out temporarily for a travel assignment which i'm probably i may end up doing also but like actually like having my own place that i can come back to after the travel assignment if i decide to do that but having my own place whether it be an apartment or house reading more. I read two books in 2021. My goal for 2022 is to read one new book a month. I used to really love reading growing up and I want to get back to that because I was happy when I did that. So Reading more, getting back into my hobbies consistently. Because I have a bad habit of being really involved in my hobbies for like a short period of time, then like creating them for a period of time, then getting back into them. I want to be consistent with them because I feel like when I'm consistent with things that make me happy, I am just a genuinely happier and positive person. <laughs> that was 2021 summed up and the forecast for 2022 and I feel like 
the setting in the background makes this a whole lot better just because it feels like a reset for the new year. Yeah, it's just calm and relaxing. Like, come on now. This is not calm and relaxing to y'all. It's calm and relaxing to me. So, I will talk to y'all later on in the video. So, you know, today's like a reset productive day. And you saw like my business, work, hobby side that this morning resetting. I'm gonna reset with friends later this evening and that's going to just bring this whole reset full circle and I will bring you along for the ride. <laughs>